Julia Carolyn Child nay McWilliams, August 15, 1912 to August 12, 2004, was an American chef, author and television personality. She is recognized for bringing French cuisine to the American public with her debut cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and her subsequent television programs, the most notable of which was The French Chef, which premiered in 1963. Topic childhood and education Julia Child was born Julia Carolyn McWilliams in 1912, in Pasadena, California, the daughter of John McWilliams, Jr., a Princeton University graduate and prominent land manager, and his wife, the former Julia Carolyn Caro Weston, a paper company heiress whose father, Byron Curtis Weston, served as lieutenant governor of Massachusetts. Child was the eldest of three, followed by a brother, John McWilliams III, and sister, Dorothy Cousins. In high school, Child was sent to the Catherine Branson School in Ross, California, which was at the time a boarding school. At 6 feet, 2 inches meters tall, Child played tennis, golf, and basketball as a youth and continued to play sports while attending Smith College, from which she graduated in 1934 with a major in history. Child grew up with a cook who served her family. She did not observe or learn how to cook from the family's cook. Child did not learn to cook until she met her would-be husband, Paul, who grew up in a family very interested in food. Following her graduation from college, Child moved to New York City, where she worked as a copywriter for the advertising department of W. and J. Sloan. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World War II. Child joined the Office of Strategic Services OSS after finding that she was too tall to enlist in the Women's Army Corps or in the U.S. Navy's waves. She began her OSS career as a typist at its headquarters in Washington, but because of her education and experience soon was given a more responsible position as a top-secret researcher working directly for the head of OSS, General William J. Donovan. As a research assistant in the Secret Intelligence Division, she typed 10,000 names on white note cards to keep track of officers. For a year, she worked at the OSS Emergency Rescue Equipment Section in Washington, D.C. as a file clerk and then as an assistant to developers of a shark repellent needed to ensure that sharks would not explode ordnance targeting German U-boats. In 1944, she was posted to Kandy, Ceylon now Sri Lanka, where her responsibilities included registering, cataloging and channeling a great volume of highly classified communications for the OSS's clandestine stations in Asia. She was later posted to Kunming, China, where she received the emblem of meritorious civilian service as head of the registry of the OSS Secretariat. When Child was asked to solve the problem of too many OSS underwater explosives being set off by curious sharks, Child's solution was to experiment with cooking various concoctions as a shark repellent, which were sprinkled in the water near the explosives and repelled sharks. Still in use today, the experimental shark repellent marked Child's first foray into the world of cooking. For her service, Child received an award that cited her many virtues, including her drive and inherent cheerfulness. As with other OSS records, her file was declassified in 2008. However, unlike other files, her complete file is available online. While in Kunming, she met Paul Cushing Child, also an OSS employee, and the two were married September 1, 1946, in Lumberville, Pennsylvania, later moving to Washington, D.C. A New Jersey native who had lived in Paris as an artist and poet, Paul was known for his sophisticated palate, and introduced his wife to fine cuisine. He joined the United States Foreign Service, and in 1948 the couple moved to Paris when the U.S. State Department assigned Paul there as an exhibits officer with the United States Information Agency. The couple had no children. <laughs> Post-war France Child repeatedly recalled her first meal in Rouen as a culinary revelation. Once, she described the meal of oysters, sole meunière, and fine wine to the New York Times as an opening up of the soul and spirit for me. In Paris, she attended the famous Cordon Bleu cooking school and later studied privately with Max Bugnard and other master chefs. She joined the women's cooking club Le Cercle des Gourmets, through which she met Simone Beck, who was writing a French cookbook for Americans with her friend Louisette Berthel. Beck proposed that Child work with them to make the book appeal to Americans. 
In 1951, Child, Beck, and Berthel began to teach cooking to American women in Child's Paris kitchen, calling their informal school L'École des Trois Gourmands the School of the Three Food Lovers. For the next decade, as the Childs moved around Europe and finally to Cambridge, Massachusetts, the three researched and repeatedly tested recipes. Child translated the French into English, making the recipes detailed, interesting, and practical. In 1963, the Childs built a home near the Provence town of Plascassier in the hills above Cannes on property belonging to co-author Simone Beck and her husband, Jean Fischbacher. The Childs named it La Pichune, a Provençal word meaning the little one, but over time the property was often affectionately referred to simply as La Peach. Media career The three would-be authors initially signed a contract with publisher Houghton Mifflin, which later rejected the manuscript for seeming too much like an encyclopedia. Finally, when it was first published in 1961 by Alfred A. Knopf, the 726-page Mastering the Art of French Cooking was a bestseller and received critical acclaim that derived in part from the American interest in French culture in the early 1960s. Lauded for its helpful illustrations and precise attention to detail, and for making fine cuisine accessible, the book is still in print and is considered a seminal culinary work. Following this success, Child wrote magazine articles and a regular column for the Boston Globe newspaper. She would go on to publish nearly 20 titles under her name and with others. Many, though not all, were related to her television shows. Her last book was the autobiographical My Life in France, published posthumously in 2006 and written with her grandnephew, Alex Prudhomme. The book recounts Child's life with her husband, Paul Cushing Child, in post-World War II France. The French chef and related books A 1962 appearance on a book review show on what was then the National Educational Television Net station of Boston, WGBH-TV now a major public broadcasting service station, led to the inception of her first television cooking show after viewers enjoyed her demonstration of how to cook an omelette. The French Chef had its debut on February 11, 1963, on WGBH and was immediately successful. The show ran nationally for 10 years and won Peabody and Emmy Awards, including the first Emmy Award for an educational program. Though she was not the first television cook, Child was the most widely seen. She attracted the broadest audience with her cheery enthusiasm, distinctively warbly voice, and unpatronizing, unaffected manner. In 1972, the French chef became the first television program to be captioned for the deaf, even though this was done using the preliminary technology of open captioning. Child's second book, The French Chef Cookbook, was a collection of the recipes she had demonstrated on the show. It was soon followed in 1971 by Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 2, again in collaboration with Simone Beck, but not with Louisette Berthel, with whom the professional relationship had ended. Child's fourth book, From Julia Child's Kitchen, was illustrated with her husband's photographs and documented the color series of the French chef, as well as provided an extensive library of kitchen notes compiled by Child during the course of the show. <laughs> Impact on American households Julia Child had a large impact on American households and housewives. Because of the technology in the 60s, the show was unedited, causing her blunders to appear in the final version and ultimately lend authenticity and approachability to television. According to Toby Miller in Screening Food, French Cuisine and the Television Palette, one mother he spoke to said that sometimes, all that stood between me and insanity was hearty Julia Child, because of Child's ability to soothe and transport her. In addition, Miller notes that Child's show began before the feminist movement of the 1960s, which meant that the issues housewives and women faced were somewhat ignored on television. Topic later career In the 1970s and 1980s, she was the star of numerous television programs, including Julia Child and Company, Julia Child and More Company and Dinner at Julius. For the 1979 book Julia Child and More Company, she won a National Book Award in category Current Interest. 
In 1981, she founded the American Institute of Wine and Food, with vintners Robert Mondavi and Richard Graff, and others, to advance the understanding, appreciation and quality of wine and food, a pursuit she had already begun with her books and television appearances. In 1989, she published what she considered her magnum opus, a book and instructional video series collectively entitled The Way to Cook. Child starred in four more series in the 1990s that featured guest chefs, Cooking with Master Chefs, In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, Baking with Julia, and Julia Child and Jacques Pepin Cooking at Home. She collaborated with Jacques Pepin many times for television programs and cookbooks. All of Child's books during this time stemmed from the television series of the same names. Child's use of ingredients like butter and cream has been questioned by food critics and modern-day nutritionists. She addressed these criticisms throughout her career, predicting that a fanatical fear of food would take over the country's dining habits, and that focusing too much on nutrition takes the pleasure from enjoying food. In a 1990 interview, Child said, everybody is overreacting. If fear of food continues, it will be the death of gastronomy in the United States. Fortunately, the French don't suffer from the same hysteria we do. We should enjoy food and have fun. It is one of the simplest and nicest pleasures in life. Julia Child's Kitchen, designed by her husband, was the setting for three of her television shows. It is now on display at the National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. Beginning with In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, the Child's Home Kitchen in Cambridge was fully transformed into a functional set, with TV-quality lighting, three cameras positioned to catch all angles in the room, and a massive center island with a gas stovetop on one side and an electric stovetop on the other, but leaving the rest of the Child's appliances alone, including My Wall Oven with its squeaking door. This kitchen backdrop hosted nearly all of Child's 1990s television series. Criticism Despite Child's popularity with professional cooks and the American public, some writers have criticized Child's work. In The Taste of America, a compendium of American food written by John Hess and Karen Hess, the authors claimed that Julia Child is partly responsible in a "...betrayal of original American ideals," causing American cuisine to deteriorate in quality and taste. According to the Hesses, Child performs this betrayal by recommending inferior commercial products as substitutes for the original ingredients, trying to make food more appealing to the Americans by making it sweet, and using the idea of Frenchness to give food value instead of its taste. Topic last years and death After the death of her beloved friend Simone Beck, Child relinquished La Pichune after a month-long stay in June 1992 with her family, her niece, Philly, and close friend and biographer Noelle Riley Fitch. She turned the keys over to Jean Fischbacher's sister, just as she and Paul had promised nearly 30 years earlier. Also in 1992, Julia spent five days in Sicily at the invitation of Regalaeli Winery. American journalist Bob Spitz spent a brief time with Julia during that period while he was researching and writing his then-working title, History of Eating and Cooking in America. In 1993, Child provided the voice of Dr. Bleeb in the animated film, We're Back. A Dinosaur's Story. Spitz took notes and made many recordings of his conversation with Child, and these later formed the basis of a secondary biography on Child, published August 7, 2012 Knopf, five days before the centennial of her birthdate. Paul Child, who was 10 years older than his wife, died in 1994 after living in a nursing home for five years following a series of strokes in 1989. In 2001, Child moved to a retirement community, donating her house and office to Smith College, which later sold the house. She donated her kitchen, which her husband designed with high counters to accommodate her height, and which served as the set for three of her television series, to the National Museum of American History, where it is now on display. Her iconic copper pots and pans were on display at Copia in Napa, California, until August 2009 when they were reunited with her kitchen at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. In 2000, Child received the French Legion of Honor and was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 2000. She was awarded the U.S. Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2003. She received honorary doctorates from Harvard University, Johnson and Wales University (1995), Smith College, her alma mater, Brown University (2000), and several other universities. 
In 2007, Child was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. On August 12, 2004, Child died of kidney failure in Montecito, California, three days before her 92nd birthday. Her last meal was French onion soup. Child ended her last book, My Life in France, with Thinking back on it now reminds that the pleasures of the table, and of life, are infinite, toujours bon appétit. Topic. Legacy Topic. The Julia Child Foundation In 1995, Julia Child established the Julia Child Foundation for Gastronomy and Culinary Arts, a private charitable foundation to make grants to further her life's work. The foundation, originally set up in Massachusetts, later moved to Santa Barbara, California, where it is now headquartered. Inactive until after Julia's death in 2004, the foundation makes grants to other non-profits. The grants support primarily gastronomy, the culinary arts and the further development of the professional food world, all matters of paramount importance to Julia Child during her lifetime. The Foundation's website provides a dedicated page listing the names of grant recipients with a description of the organization and the grant provided by the Foundation. One of the grant recipients is Heritage Radio Network which covers the world of food, drink and agriculture. Beyond making grants, the Foundation was also established to protect Julia Child's legacy. It is the organization to approach to seek permission to use images of Julia Child and or excerpts of her work. Many of these rights are jointly held with other organizations like her publishers and the Schlesinger Library at the Radcliffe Institute at Harvard University who may also need to be contacted. Recently, the Foundation has been more active in protecting these posthumous rights. Well known for her opposition to endorsements, the Foundation follows a similar policy regarding the use of Julius' name and image for commercial purposes. Tributes and homages The Julia Child Rose, known in the UK as the absolutely fabulous Rose, is a golden butter, gold floribunda rose named after Child. On September 26, 2014, the US Postal Service issued 20 million copies of the Celebrity Chefs Forever stamp series, which featured portraits by Jason Seiler of five American chefs, Julia Child, Joyce Chen, James Beard, Edna Lewis, and Felipe Rojas Lombardi. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations Awards 1965, Peabody Award for Personal Award for the French Chef 1966, Emmy for Achievements in Educational Television Individuals for the French Chef 1980, U.S. National Book Awards for Current Interest hardcover for Julia Child and More Company 1996, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs 2001, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Julia and Jacques Cooking at Homme Nominations 1972, Emmy for Special Classification of Outstanding Program and Individual Achievement, General Programming for the French Chef 1994, Emmy for Outstanding Informational Series for Cooking with Master Chefs 1997, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Baking with Julia 1999, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Baking with Julia 2000, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home. Topic: In popular culture. Child was a favorite of audiences from the moment of her television debut on public television in 1963, and she was a familiar part of American culture and the subject of numerous references, including numerous parodies in television and radio programs and skits. Her great success on air may have been tied to her refreshingly pragmatic approach to the genre. I think you have to decide who your audience is. If you don't pick your audience, you're lost because you're not really talking to anybody. My audience is people who like to cook, who want to really learn how to do it. In 1996, Julia Child was ranked number 46 on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Stars of All Time. In music 
The Bob's 2013 song, Julius Too Tall, from the album Biographies is an a cappella and rap retelling of Child's rise to prominence, including her early days working for the U.S. government as an intelligence research assistant. Her time was well spent, she got acknowledgement, she even helped develop shark repellent. The title is a reference to her ineligibility for certain military service due to her height. She's too tall to be a spy, but not too tall to bake a pie. The YouTube series Epic Rap Battles of History featured Child portrayed by Mamrie Hart in a rap battle against Scottish celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay portrayed by Lloyd, Epic Lloyd Alquist in the second episode of its fifth season. Topic. On stage Jean Stapleton portrayed Child in a 1989 one-woman short musical play, Bon Appetit, based on one of Child's televised cooking lessons, with music by American opera composer Lee Hoiby. The title derived from her famous TV sign-off, Bon Appetit. Topic. In film In 1993, Child was the voice of Dr. Juliette Bleib in the children's film We're Back. A Dinosaur's Story. In the film Mrs. Doubtfire Robin Williams, disguised as a woman, viewed Julia Child's videos in order to learn how to cook to keep up appearances of being an excellent nanny. Also, in the beginning of Mrs. Doubtfire, you'll hear the sentence, Eat your heart out, Julia Child. See Julie, Julia below. In the film The Money Pit, starring Tom Hanks, Child appears in a television clip. In the film Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, the character Kenny watches Julia Child on television to learn how to cook. In the film Desperately Seeking Susan, starring Madonna and Rosanna Arquette, Rosanna Arquette's character watches Child while cooking dinner. In print. In 1966, Child was featured on the cover of Time with the heading, Our Lady of the Ladle. Topic. On television She was the inspiration for the character, Julia Grown Up, on the Children's Television Workshop Program, The Electric Company 1971-1977. In a 1978 Saturday Night Live sketch, episode 74, she was parodied by Dan Aykroyd, who, as Julia Child, continued with a cooking show despite ludicrously profuse bleeding from a cut to his thumb, and eventually expired while advising, Save the liver. Child reportedly loved this sketch so much she showed it to friends at parties. She was parodied on The Cosby Show in the 1984 episode, Bonjour Sandra, by characters Cliff and Theo Huxtable. She appeared in an episode of This Old House as designer of the kitchen. This Old House was launched in 1979 by Russell Moorish, who helped create the French chef with Julia Child. In 1982, she was portrayed by John Candy in a sketch for Second City Television, Battle of the PBS Stars, in which she took part in a boxing match against fellow PBS star Mr. Rogers, who was parodied by Martin Short. She lost the match after a taking multiple blows to the head from Roger's puppet King Friday. In 2014, she was portrayed in Season 6, Episode 5 of RuPaul's Drag Race by Dan Donegan, known as Milk on the show, as part of the Snatch Game Challenge. Topic Julie, Julia In 2002, Child was the inspiration for The Julie, Julia Project, a popular cooking blog by Julie Powell that was the basis of Powell's best-selling book, Julie and Julia, 365 Days, 524 Recipes, One Tiny Apartment Kitchen, published in 2005, the year following Child's death. The paperback version of the book was retitled Julie and Julia, My Year of Cooking Dangerously. The blog and book, along with Child's own memoir My Life in France, in turn inspired the 2009 feature film Julie and Julia in which Meryl Streep portrayed Child. For her performance, Streep was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Child is reported to have been unimpressed by Powell's blog, believing Powell's determination to cook every recipe and mastering the art of French cooking in a year to be a stunt. 
In an interview, Child's editor, Judith Jones, said of Powell's blog, flinging around four-letter words when cooking isn't attractive, to me or Julia. She didn't want to endorse it. What came through on the blog was somebody who was doing it almost for the sake of a stunt. Topic. Twitch On March 15, 2016, Twitch.tv started to stream Julia Child's show The French Chef. This event was in celebration of both the launch of the cooking section of Twitch.tv and the anniversary of Child's graduation from Le Cordon Bleu. Topic. Works Topic television series The French Chef 1963 to 1973 Julia Child and Company 1978 1979 Julia Child and More Company 1980 to 1982 Dinner at Julius 1983 to 1985 The Way to Cook 1989 6 1 hour video cassettes A Birthday Party for Julia Child Compliments to the Chef 1992 Cooking with Master Chefs hosted by Julia Child 1993 1994 16 episodes Cooking in Concert, Julia Child and Jacques Pepin 1993, in Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs 1994-1996, 39 episodes Cooking in Concert, Julia Child and Jacques Pepin 1995, Baking with Julia 1996-1998, 39 episodes Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home 1999-2000, 22 episodes Julia Child's Kitchen Wisdom, 2000, 2-hour two special. Topic. DVD releases Julia Child's Kitchen Wisdom 2000. Julia and Jacques, Cooking at Home 2003. Julia Child, America's Favorite Chef 2004. The French Chef, Vol. 1 2005. The French Chef, Vol. 2 2005. Julia Child. The French Chef 2006. The Way to Cook 2009 Baking with Julia 2009 Topic books Mastering the Art of French Cooking 1961, with Simone Beck and Louisette Berthel The French Chef Cookbook 1968, ISBN 0-394-40135-2 Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Vol. 2, 1970, with Simone Beck, ISBN 0-394-40152-2 From Julia Child's Kitchen 1975, ISBN 0-517-2071-2-5 Julia Child and Company 1978, ISBN 0-345-31449-2 Julia Child and More Company 1979, ISBN 0-345-31450-6 The Way to Cook 1989, ISBN 0-394-53264-3 Julia Child's Menu Cookbook 1991, one volume edition of Julia Child and Company and Julia Child and More Company, ISBN 0-517-06485 5 Cooking with Master Chefs 1993, ISBN 0-679-74829-6 In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs 1995, ISBN 0-679-43896-3 Baking with Julia 1996, ISBN 0-688-14657-0 oh Julia's Delicious Little Dinners 1998, ISBN 0-375-40336-1 Julia's Menu Menus for Special Occasions 1998, ISBN 0-375-40338 8 Julius Breakfasts, Lunches and Suppers 1999, ISBN 0-375-40339 6 Julius Casual Dinners 1999, ISBN 0-375-40337 X Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home 1999, with Jacques Pepin, ISBN 978-0-375-4043 1, 3 Julius Kitchen Wisdom 2000, ISBN 0-375-41151-8 My Life in France 2006, Posthumous, with Alex Prudhomme, ISBN 1-4000-4346-8 Collected in American Food Writing, an anthology with classic recipes, ed. Molly O'Neill Library of America, 2007. ISBN 1-59853-005-4 Topic. Books about child 
Topic films about child produced by WGBH, a one-hour feature documentary, Julia Child. America's Favorite Chef, was aired as the first episode of the 18th season of the PBS series American Masters, 2004. The film combined archive footage of Child with current footage from those who influenced and were influenced by her life and work. Julie and Julia 2009 is a film adapted by Nora Ephron from Child's memoir My Life in France and from Julie Powell's memoir. Meryl Streep played Child. The film won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical or Comedy. A film titled Primordial Soup with Julia Child was on display at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum's Life in the Universe Gallery from 1976 until the gallery closed. Keep on Cooking, Julia Child Remixed, a video produced for PBS by John D. Boswell as part of the PBS Icons Remixed series in commemoration of Child's 100th birthday. Child's voice is auto-tuned to a melody derived from vocal samples, with synchronized video clips from Child's various television series. See also Fanny Craddock <laughs>